Hello, everyone, to KubeCon Europe. I'm very excited to be in London here. Uh, also, welcome to our, our largest KubeCon yet. Um, it's very exciting. We have over uh, 12,500 people here, so very uh, exciting. So thank you very much. Um, bef before I, I kind of do the usual you know, new members, new, new type of announcements, uh, I, I've been feeling a little bit nostalgic you know, lately. Uh, we had the Kubernetes 10-year anniversary last year that we had a lot of celebrations of. This year is when CNCF turns 10. And so, uh, you know, I kind of like, would like to talk a little bit about the history uh, of the organization uh, and kind of where, where we're going. Um, you know, I have a lot of nostalgia because the, the first KubeCon I ever intended was actually in London back in 2016. It was the first KubeCon Europe uh, at the time. And if you kind of look in this uh, room, you know, this keyno the, the, the keynote hall here looks very different than it was uh, down here uh, for, for sure. But uh, at that time, we had a few hundred passionate folks coming together to kind of build and work on, you know, Kubernetes and, and eventually what, what became, um, you know, the CNCF. Uh, so if you kind of look at the history here, I think a lot of people aren't aware that um, CNCF was announced in July 2015. Uh, we had about 20 uh, original organizations that were involved. Uh, we hosted our first board meeting in December 2015 at the New York Times building in Manhattan. Thank you, New York Times, for the space. It was great. Uh, and then in March 2016, we formalized the uh, Cloud Native Technical Board, the TOC, and formally voted to accept uh, Kubernetes as our first uh, project, which was kind of cute. It was nice that the TOC was so gracious to uh, vote and accept Kubernetes uh, at that time. But if you kind of look at this original list of companies that were involved, we had at t Box, Cisco, Cloud Foundry, CoreOS, Cycle Computing, Docker, eBay, Goldman, uh, Google, Huawei, IBM, Intel, Joint, Kismatic, Mesosphere, Red Hat, Switch, Twitter, Unova, VMware, and, and Weaveworks. That was a very small list of, of organizations. And you know, some of those organizations are no longer here. I kind of, uh, uh, in italics, I kind of mentioned the companies that were either acquired or, or dissolved. But the key lesson here is there was a small group of organizations and folks that came together with a vision to make you know, uh, infrastructure and cloud native uh, better. And, you know, and, and, and they did it. You know, you know, here we are. So a small kernel of idea with passionate folks can truly, uh, you know, truly change um, the world. So uh, before I kind of move on to uh, you know, other announcements, I just wanted to have a special thank you for some of the folks that were there in the early days. So you know, a special thanks to our early governing board and TUC uh, members. Uh, I bumped into some folks already uh, here. I've uh, seen Kelsey and Alexis and so on. So just special thank you uh, to all these folks that were there uh, in the beginning when we had this kernel of a crazy idea of what CNCF became. So let's do a little round of applause and see if you say them. Thank you for their early crazy, uh, crazy support. So 10 years of CNCF, you know, we have tons of projects now, so there's a lot of anniversaries that are happening uh, across the board. So we did Kubernetes last year for 10 years, it's 11 years this year. Um, a lot of people aren't aware that some of the projects we have in CNCF are actually older than uh, us as an organization, so things like Vitesse uh, and the Update Framework are 15 and 16 years old. So we're going to be doing a lot of celebrating this year and uh, acknowledging the 10 years of amazing uh, hard work that this community has done. So I'm happy to announce, just like last year, we're going to be throwing some uh, parties and, and meetups and organizations worldwide. So if you're interested in hosting uh, a C, we're calling it C10CF uh, party uh, and, and, and a, a, you know, event within your local community, please go here and uh, request. And we're going to go support uh, all y'all over the world to go celebrate later when we actually get to our official 10-year milestone. So very excited to kind of uh, celebrate with everyone this year on all the amazing stuff we have done uh, this, this, this decade. So, that's a little bit about the past and the history. So if you look at Cloud Native today, CNCF, um, you know, there are over 275,000 contributors to over 200 projects coming from 190 uh, different countries out there. And we are truly a global uh, community. Um, I had some friends at GitHub that were actually doing some interesting uh, analysis uh, and you know, coming up with some graphics where they were like, well, 
you know, let's, let's uh, you know, heat maps, everyone loves a heat map. And so like here, uh, you're like, here's a heat map of all the maintainers, you know, uh, across uh, CNCF and kind of, you know, where they come and, you know, uh, and, you know, you kind of look at this map and you're like, oh, wow, this is like truly, you know, all, you know, all over the world is kind of represented uh, here in terms of maintainers, you know, for the community. And obviously, contributors are, are significantly wider, but, uh, you know, if you zoom in, we are in the UK, so I asked them to kind of give me a little bit of a zoom in thing, and you kind of see some representation here. But, you know, the maintainers in CNCF, there's about 1,500 of them, truly drive uh, the community um, here. And yesterday, we hosted our first uh, maintainer summit uh, that brought together all of our different project maintainers to kind of share lessons, uh, you know, uh, talk about how they solve problems in their respective projects and community. And so I just kind of want to, you know, thank that literally the 1,500, you know, plus maintainers really drive this whole ecosystem that everyone depends on. So maybe a thank you to all the maintainers and uh, congrats for your first maintainer summit um, yesterday. So our first uh, announcement is uh, we have the latest uh, state, uh, sorry, cloud native uh, annual survey that we put together is uh, put out and uh, downloaded. So you can kind of go take a look at it. We have some updated information uh, on project usage, number of cloud native developers out there and so on. So please check out, um, you know, the, the latest uh, annual survey that we put together. So. Let's do the usual. So we have some new members in CNCF. I'm very excited to announce that uh, Ericsson, HA Proxy, and Marentis have joined us uh, gold members. So thank you for your support. You're very much appreciated uh, to support this uh, lovely organization. We also have a lot of other uh, new members, uh, silver members, uh, academics, nonprofits, universities, and so on that join. So uh, welcome to Team Cloud Native and glad to have you supporting the, the CNCF. So, Another uh, new announcement uh, that we're doing. So last year on stage, I was in Paris. I announced our new kind of cloud native education ambassador program to basically help improve the state of cloud native education, certifications, and help other people learn more about different CNCF projects. So this year, we are uh, announcing uh, in kind of an update to this program at a new level called the Golden Cube Stronaut uh, program. And this is essentially folks that have passed not only the Kubernetes certifications, but the other CNCF projects like Istio, Backstage, uh, Argo, and, and so on. So we have a, a couple dozen of initial golden cubestronauts in stage somewhere. I don't know where, where all y'all are, but uh, if, yeah, there you are. So uh, please stand and uh, we'll spot you. And thank you. So uh, kudos. Uh, those are, uh, it's a lot of certifications that you have to do, and uh, I'm very happy to, to have you um, here. So thank you. L like your hats. <laughs> Uh, education's important. CNCF is a diverse, uh, diverse ecosystem. We got a lot of projects. It's not always easy. Um, the other thing we announced uh, late last, um, you know, year was uh, we, we were, uh, you know, expanding into kind of new, new areas. So if you looked at that kind of maintainer map, uh, Africa was a little bit light on it. And you know, what better way to uh, expand uh, reach is uh, by creating kind of a new program to serve that market. So we partnered with an organization called Andela to try to train over 20,000, um, you know, uh, uh, folks in Africa on cloud native uh, technology, uh, particularly starting with the KCNA and early Kubernetes uh, training. When we launched this thing, we've had 6,400 people apply uh, from 46 different uh, countries uh, in Africa. So it's been awesome to see this going, and I hope next year uh, I could come up with an update to show more maintainers and contributors in that part of the world. But we're officially kicking things off in uh, May 5th, 2025, uh, as uh, you know, to kind of really start this program. So I'm super excited that it's finally moving uh, along here. The other thing we've been investing in is uh, you're probably no stranger to platform engineering. It's kind of a, a, a new popular uh, topic in the cloud native world. A lot of CNCF projects power platform engineering teams and products out there. And one thing that we noticed was uh, a lot of the education and content out there is very maybe skewed, maybe it's single vendor or not very open source friendly. So we went together to work with our community and created two new certifications here. Today we are launching that the uh, Cloud Native Platform Engineering Associate uh, exam is available to register and take. So it is available if you go to that QR code and obviously when you attend KubeCon, all y'all have, you know, uh, discounts, uh, and, and so, this, so please check it out. Uh, platform engineering is definitely here to stay. The other thing that I've noticed in kind of my 10-year journey uh, in, in CNCF is we talk to a lot of companies that are 
adopting cloud native software, using it, and a lot of times some of these organizations are new to open source, right? They're, hey, like we're trying to set up our policies, we're trying to figure out how to you know, contribute back. So we've partnered with um, uh, you know, the Linux Foundation and the Open Source Initiative to create a new uh, training and certification called Code, or Certified Open Source Developer. It's really meant for enterprises to try to figure out how to navigate open source usage, some of the crazy uh, upcoming regulations that are coming, how to deal with licensing issues. So this is now available for everyone to take advantage of, especially if you're a, uh, a large enterprise out there. So awesome to kind of see this finally done, because it's, it's, it's definitely sorely needed uh, out there. So. Um, my next announcement is, uh, you know, uh, I, I've, I've known this uh, gentleman for, for, for quite a while, and they've been a very early supporter of, of CNCF, and I'm very excited about a kind of a new initiative that we've been uh, working on together that very much is relevant to the European uh, economy and, and region. So uh, I'll let him explain it uh, a little bit more, but let me uh, introduce uh, Vasu from SAP on the stage to talk about a little new uh, fun project that we're working on. So. Vasu, come on, come on out. Thank you, Chris. Hello, KubeCon. Thanks for having me. Now, while I work for SAP, a longtime platinum sponsor and supporter, of course, of the CNCF, I'm actually here to represent a broad initiative across Europe. I'm actually excited, and I truly am, to announce the launch of NeoNephos, a new open source initiative um, yeah, uh, that is hosted now in the Linux Foundation here in Europe. So why did we start NeoNephos? Its mission is to build a sovereign multi-provider cloud edge continuum for Europe. So I probably need to explain this continuum a bit. As you can see here on the map, Several EU member states have mobilized a whooping 3.5 billion euros of investments with a policy instrument called the Important Project of Common European Interest, or in short, the IPSI. Now, NeoNephos is a non-bureaucratic outcome of that founding. As founding members here, the companies here you see of NeoNephos, and not all of them are receiving funds, by the way, we recognize the importance of uh, collaboration in open source yeah, for this mission. Yeah, and it's an urgent and an immediate uh, mission that we all subscribe to. Now, we also see NeoNephos as our open source infrastructure for all the other EU initiatives that are currently in motion as we speak. Now, with this, we can actually put public and private money into common use, and that's dear to my heart, into open source use. Now, but why am I here to announce this foundation at the KubeCon? Well, you are all here also because of that, because if we look into all of the digital machine rooms of all our companies, we find cloud native everywhere. Kubernetes, open telemetry, GitOps, and all many, many more. Yeah. So the cloud native ecosystem has created the de facto standard around portability and versatility, and it is clearly the key to solving the interoperability challenges that we face, not only for Europe, but for everywhere, and everywhere else. So technically, what do we actually do with these CNC pro CNCF projects? Now, of course, we are leveraging all these projects to jointly build a reference that serves this sovereign cloud edge purpose. And I'm especially proud that we can actually pay for maintainers and contributors, for example, for the KCP project, where we can move the edge of what Kubernetes can actually do. And in NeoNephos, we also have donated projects based entirely on the, upon the Kubernetes principles, some of which have secretly or openly matured uh, in our respective enterprises and uh, yeah, are working at scale, actually. In short, I want to make it short, yeah. The idea is to take our beloved cube control command, or is it cube cuddle, yeah, and apply Kubernetes down to bare metal across platform providers into the telco edges and make it the European standard. Yeah. If you want to know more, I'll be talking about NeoNephos and our initiative in the Linux Foundation 
Europe Birds of a Feather session at 14.30 today, together with our sister project, Silva. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for... Uh, it's an honor to stand upon the <laughs> shoulders of giants. And thank you, CNCF, yeah. for being such a welcoming and great community. Okay? See you later. Thank you. Thank you, Vasu. I think he's maybe underselling some of this. Like, they do a great job funding and, and supporting uh, CNCF maintainers and upstream contributors. So, to very much kudos to him personally in, in driving a lot of that work at SAP. And always excited to see CNCFA projects used in the way they were intended to kind of build um, cloud native systems that are used across different clouds and regions across the world. So, super awesome effort. So, I want to kind of wrap uh, things up. And before I hand it off to the lovely program chairs to continue, uh, uh, you know, KubeCon here. But um, you know, we are a global community. We now have uh, five KubeCons worldwide uh, that are happening. Um, later this year, uh, we are doing KubeCon in China and Hong Kong and in Tokyo, KubeCon Japan for the first time, which is very exciting. And then we'll be in India and in Hyderabad and later in North America and Atlanta this year. So there are five KubeCons that we do to kind of try to meet and reach our community in specific regions. So I uh, highly encourage folks to uh, attend. Uh, most of these, uh, uh, Japan and India for sure will sell out, so register <laughs> uh, early. So I uh, hope to see you there. And for next year, to help with planning, since these, these events have become so large, uh, this is a big kind of keynote stage, um, we are planning further in advance. So uh, as I mentioned before, next year for KubeCon, we're gonna be uh, in Amsterdam. We're back at the Rye Convention Center over there, which is a lovely space, love that area. And then we're gonna be in LA uh, in 2026 for KubeCon North America. Um, however, uh, for the year after that, we have already booked uh, the next KubeCon Europe, and I'm happy to uh, announce today that uh, we will be uh, in Barcelona, back. So uh, book your calendars, March 15th uh, through 18th. Um, one of my favorite cities in Europe, and they'll be excited to be uh, back there. So, um, you know, I want to thank everyone for coming and, and showing up. Uh, I truly hope you have a great week of learning, nerding out, meeting some new friends, and, and, and so on. So uh, with that, I'll, I'll kind of close the uh, shop uh, off and have Casper uh, uh, come lead the way on uh, officially really kicking off the rest of the keynote. So uh, welcome and truly enjoy this week. So thank you very much, all. Thanks for attending. <laughs>